Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the Dutch World Conquest campaign here. Um, and so, in the last episode, I had declared a war on England that France would eventually peace out. I think he actually took province down here, but that's kind of beside the point. The main issue that we ran into was that I was unable to land troops on the mainland. I actually forgot <laughs> that there's no forts in Ireland. He's got one in... Oh, Cork is not even... So, I, uh, I very well could land troops over here, play the defensive game, especially if I could get some military access through Ulster. Fleet basing rights would be even better, but this is fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully not get called for peace. We're going to keep this blockaded. Hmm. So, can we detach a blockade here? Ooh, where's the button for that? Hmm. Right. Okay. So, we are just going to uh, keep you guys out here. For the monthly tick there, so we're not wasted a bunch. We Oh, we won the siege. Very good. Cool. So, just so he doesn't get any more troops, let's go ahead and switch you guys over there. Portugal has entered a golden era, so he is giving me a peace offer. The only problem is, is that I'm going to not have Kent, so I will not... Oh, Castile Gate doing their golden age as well. The only problem is, is that I will not be able to get some men on Kent. So what I'm going to have to do for the ticking war score, because you'll see here... Yeah, <laughs> we have a negative 25 just because of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to land over here. We have the superior navy. So as long as we're blockading this, I believe, and I might be wrong, but I believe we'll be good. Yeah, he doesn't even have a navy anymore. We can just blockade with our transports. Um, and so that would mean... really hoping that he can't get through here. I'm assuming he cannot. Ottomans have also popped their golden age. So I assume he doesn't have any armies over here. Let's disperse you guys a little bit. Let you guys all siege down over here. This will also help with our war war score. Or war score as well as um, his war exhaustion. Okay. any farmland over here there is not hmm I think war taxes is probably appropriate does he have any vassals go with war taxes claim supporting claims is always a nice one as well but I'm not gonna worry about it still no loans so I wonder what his loans are looking like uh, right here we go We's still only at six. This is fine. Um, all right, cool. So, I suppose what we would do, if we pull them away, is his army going to start making their way over? We'll see in a second on our trade ships. No, he's not. Interesting. Hmm. So, I'm thinking maybe what we do, we send one Merc over. We're going to send one Merc over to bait his stack off of there. Send him over, like, what in the world? No. So we will send him over here. We want him to be up here. Let's, um, as soon as he's off, we can get this Merc over here. Siege down Kent. I would like for him to leave that siege there. Okay, very good. Keep the blockade just in case. Still there. Interesting. Well, I'm wondering if he's just going to let us up there then. Let's get some military access and get up here. We're going to get a uh, call for peace here very soon. His war exhaustion is, is getting up there. I hate these events. 
Oh, ooh, let me read a bunch of text here. Um, that's fine. Everybody's happy. Get some points now. At least we can get Diplo. How close are we to our next idea group? Pretty close, but it's worth taking this because we'll get the trade income from it. Um, and this actually will probably be enough to make these guys leave here. Yes, not all of them though. Okay, well if that's the case, let's actually detach these guys, get them over there. We're gonna take a loan out. We're gonna get a couple more mercs over here. We're gonna back our guys up over there. <clears throat> Time is very precious here. Hmm. Really? I have three maneuver and I really can't get away. Might be bad. Hmm. Yeah, this is very bad. Well, at least we can flee here. 3rd of June. So these guys are actually off there now. What are you doing? Get over there. He's gonna send all of them to siege that bag. Let's uh, stop that. Blockade them. Okay, this is actually... This might work. Winster is pieced out, which is fine. Okay, cool. He's got all of his men up there. This actually might work. No! Why do they have attrition? This is not... This is bad, this is bad. Hopefully they don't send their men back there. Wow, we just lost a ton of men there. So let's see if there's a way that we can get you guys over here. Um, whatever. Just don't want that 10k stack to go uh, running down. That is so dumb. I suppose I can just turn army maintenance down. I'm not going to be needing any more reinforcements or anything. He's not going to be able to get over here. Um, let's go with Diplo because we're going to be taking a Diplo idea next. So as soon as we get this, our war score is going to stack up real high. And we're going to finally be able to get out of this godforsaken war. Eight years of garbage. All right. So, take what I can. Uh, blockade his capital real quick get a little oh that's juicy actually that just got us a ton more war score the money to pay off our debt beautiful all right cool so we have have a foothold over here now. Who do we want to rival? England, obviously. It's a shame that we couldn't rival them before. Pay off all that debt there. And I um, suppose we'll just keep you guys here for now. We do need to definitely get rid of all these mercs, though. Which uh, cuts against us pretty strong. As long as we still have good allies... We're going to need to um, improve some relations. Let's actually get some claims over here. That'll do for now. And we're going to have to wait to core this up. Admittedly, I should have just taken... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Coastal provinces, but that's fine. That's fine. Also, I know I haven't mentioned it quite yet, but um, I just wanted to get straight into it. So if you guys are enjoying the campaign, please show your support and leave a like, because if we can get 100 likes per video, we will continue with the twice daily uploads. So, so far, it's been great. You guys have been super, super, super supportive, and I am very thankful for it. We can now get some more milli points, but we're super far ahead on mil tech. So I suppose we just do a couple of dev clicks. 
really help out with our monthly gains. We're going from 158 up to... Oh yeah, definitely worth. Oh, for sure. Just all, everybody's super influential, but I'm just gonna let it rock. We're actually gonna wait and let this one and go, we're gonna double dip this one. Because that'll actually get us up to an idea group as well. So with that, we can uh, spend a couple more points. There you go, that's probably good. And now we're up to almost 200 manpower a month gain, which is super good. Um, so when can we annex you? And right now, we just need to get that relationship up. How do we get rid of the Civil War tag? Uh, overextension? Legitimacy? The 1st of May, 9. <laughs> uh, okay. That doesn't sound right. I'm assuming it's 89. 90, okay. Fine. Should be good. As this war exhaustion goes down, that'll help out with our unrest a lot too. As you can see. Might need to buy it down just once, but I will uh, wait until the very last second if I'm going to do that. We have expanded Holland. So is that the entire area? Holland area. Okay, so we're going to wait on that one until colonialism comes around. That way we can dev up Holland real easy. Okay, we should probably send you a gift. Will you, mm, he is a bishopric, so he will not marry me. And send him a gift. And we will continue improving with you. Because for the time being, you are a very good ally to have. Strong ally immediately next to us. And this is going down slowly but surely. English conquest of Kanakt, huh? Hmm. What's his war exhaustion? Can I see it? I'm looking over here. Point three. So apparently he bought it down, I assume. So we're going to need, give or take, 800 points to double up. So if, if you don't know this little cheat, little cheaty exploit here, uh, this re this uh, refreshes at the end of the month. So you can, if as long as you take a lot of tech, as long as you take tech within one month, it um, keeps the negative 10, so 10%. So you essentially get two techs for the price with the discount of the first one. So that's kind of the idea there. So let's go ahead and get to work on annexing you. This will be done fairly soon. We will, uh, might as well, if it gets it done faster. Plus we can get our Diplo sorted out. And I think now's probably an appropriate time to uh, switch over because our admin tech is, we'll get it eventually. It's no big deal. We might actually get lucky and get a 15% discount. That would be very useful. Nice little dip in our trade income there. How long is that modifier for? Oh, just two years. Fine, we can handle that. Um, usually I just take the prestige on this one. Delray no longer considers me a rival. Like he got cut in half. Look at that long tree air. Eight Cologne and Clevis. Or Cleve. Cleve? I don't know how to pronounce that. So that might actually make it easy for us to cut them off. The steel? Really? Hmm. The Iberian wedding is not fired. wonder if he would join. I can't imagine why he would not. Do you have a truce with him? Oh, we do. Well, that's fine. Let's in continue improving our relationships with you. Yeah, this one isn't going to fire. 
lost our dude. So let's, um... Hmm. I suppose for now, National Unrest is probably going to be the most helpful. I'll get rid of those Wallandesian heretics. So apparently we can, um... Do that, that's fine, whatever. Now we got our two Irish cores. This actually will not fire, right? When will it be done? Wait, the 2nd of May? Does it really, is this, doesn't this one say the 1st of, oh, February, damn. We're gonna have to buy up our mill, or spend some mill points on, I actually don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to avoid this. I suppose, no, I can't state it either, interesting. Um, care about that. I will just take you. I will spend a couple of points on this, though. Hopefully I don't get excommunicated. Can't get excommunicated because the Pope man likes me. So that's good. And, uh, still just waiting on this. It's a bummer that we can't, um, our truce... Expansion's gonna be real slow early on, apparently. You are in a trade league. Damn. I mean, I think I could manage this as long as I had Munster. Might as well get a claim. I really need to start to keep on doing this. Plus, it's part we have part of the state anyway, so. Probably in our best interest. So I, I think I can avoid it. I just would have to spend. have at least 75 uh, we're about to spend a lot of admin points to avoid this from happening they're not admin mill points rather integration is a slow process indeed Burger loyalty is always nice to have. <sighs> Three infantry as opposed to what? Yeah, that's fine, I suppose. This really hurts, but I'm going to have to do this a couple of clicks. <sighs> we have to do one more. Ay, caramba. I'll get rid of that, but that absolutely hurt me so much because now I'm going to not get Miltech in time. Galray's in debt. Bremen, Lubeck, as long as Munster would join, I think we can, we can do that. Let's actually switch back over to you <clears throat> for a little bit. I can just, you know, do the same thing, have him prepare for war, join in like that. Admittedly... Oh, thanks for your subscription, whoever that is. So I could attack Castile. If France wasn't in... No, he wouldn't join regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to avoid Castile until we form the Dutch nation. So as long as we have a truce with him, I'm not going to have a, any real idea of what's going on. Okay. So, this gives us a little bit more power up here. How close are we? I'm just going to wait until an even 800. Just to prevent any confusion. And we're going to start slipping behind here on Diplo. Because we are going to go... Um, influence as our second idea set. Let's get a claim on you. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. Galray will now join, which is super annoying. Let's see here, could we actually for our force limit now for some reason? Um can we able to vassalize anybody? That'd be kinda cool, right? Nope. Cannot. I suppose we could try to consolidate some of some Ireland. Um Ulster will 
probably get... Yeah, Bo Belligerented. Should probably get these guys back over here. I think... So let's actually have you, for a moment, press the rebels there, get those, get them nice and low. Really? Oh right, because I'm not actually, I don't have my maintenance turned on. There we go, now it'll go down. If you're watching this at speed 5 is very painful to some people, but you'll also soon find out that the first you know, to 150 years of the game is hardly important compared to the last 150. So anyways, Yodaldo, the first von Solzbach, now um, king, or duke, long live the duke, and uh, now you can definitely do these clicks, so see, boom, still have negative 10, even though it should just be, well, it may still be 10, but it's guaranteed, so we'll also be ahead for a little bit. We can pick our first, our next idea group, which is going to be influence for uh, diplo annex cost, as well as diplo relations, reputation, vassal force limit, unjustified demands is going to be super useful for taking land that is not um, claimed. So it's all around just a very useful idea group. We'll definitely do that because we are done. We're going to be joining the Reformation as soon as we can. <clears throat> so I think we have to wait because we want to go reformed. So we'll wait on reformed to fire. We can state you up, and we will. Can't core it all quite yet. It's very soon. We will, um... Maybe we'll just take this one, just so we can stay ahead on Diplo. Keep our, um... Keep our trade income nice and high. And, uh... I think we are gonna head over here. So we can get a war going with uh, these turds over here. I do love the innovative bits, though. I think it's in our best interest to stay where we're at. Somebody's getting towed out the window. Sorry to see it, brother. All right, so. Let's uh, wait for the monthly tick here. Pull you back. You will Munster join. He will not. So as long as it's nobody that I'm super worried about, it's a bunch of OPMs, and as long as we can pick their stacks out indiv individually, 28,000 men is going to be more than enough. So let's just make sure he would be willing to join if I... I think he would. So let's see here. Let's do this. So this gives us... I think it's 20 reasons, but it might only be 10. It's 20. Very good. So, all these dudes would join in. So, like, a couple of guys might actually be able to pile on, but I don't think it should be an issue. I think we're probably okay here. We have our discipline guy. I think we just uh, go for it. Jack White, wait for Galray to lock in over here. Kill him. Oh, looks like he's already getting killed. Okay. Woods. So I'd rather avoid fighting in the woods if I can. But as long as I can, like, get everybody separate pieced, it's not really going to be an issue. Get the cab out of there. Big thing I need to do is annul Gelray's treaties. As long as I can break his alliance with Castile, I'll have a short truce and I'll be able to declare on him in the near future. So that'll be good. And Munster's, you know, soaking up all of the occupation, so that's really good for me. Mm, admittedly, I don't want all of them to pile on each other, though. Hmm. This is woods. I'm going to go ahead and scorch this. See if I can bait them into walking into Breda. Taking a river crossing. Hmm. 5-2-0. Oh, I will take my chances. 
suppose we might as well get a quick stack wipe here. This is woods and it's defensive, so I think probably in our best interest to jump on this. Uh, yeah, I'll take the yearly prestige. Um, yep, yeah, this is fine. We win that fight. I'd rather not lose manpower, but I'm definitely not going to lose professionalism like that. Wipe you out there. I think everybody's fleeing up to their respective states, so maybe... Who are we at war with here? Hamburg? There we go. Did we can get a stack white. Very nice. A very low war score because of um let's see here if oh wow we have lots of ships we have two heavies and they have one heavy so as long as we can get these guys all might be able to uh do something here very good We're losing some ships, but they're losing way more than we are. We actually gained a ship after all that was said and done. So the idea is, is I want to uh, come over here and blockade Hamburg. So usually, it mm, doesn't look like it. Usually, that's enough to get somebody get out of there. So let's get a claim on Ulster here. Get you back over here on Sligo. Certainly not interested in um, dragging that siege out all the all that way. So we're gonna wait on that one. Let's go ahead and stop you if I can. Nope. But I will lock you in, so that's good. So they're certainly gonna lose these fights. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. Hmm. The Munster's war exhaustion is probably going pretty, pretty, uh, pretty high. Save the innovativeness and keep our trade income up nice and high. Let's actually go ahead and get you guys hatched. Stole a heavy. Wrecker. <laughs> oh, the Wappen von Weimann. I can't speak German. Anyways, we stole a heavy, so that's good. We stole their only heavy. All right, cool. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Like I said, 100 likes a day, and we will keep the series twice daily. Hope you guys are excited to see it. It might look like we're not doing very good, but believe me, we totally are. We've taken literally less than a third of their losses. So we're totally fine, and uh, we're going to make it a good one. So hope you guys are excited to see what's going on next. We are going to try to consolidate as much of Ireland as we can and work our way over into the Isles. Obviously, we want English trade, not you know, North Sea, but that's fine. We'll make the best of it. Hope you guys like it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not already. If you want to check out the Discord or the Patreon, the links for those are going to be in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. Got a couple of series over there linked on the right that I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.